Well, we, we have to go back to square one and, and start like we always do from the first day of practice and, 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 and get back to basics, just fundamentals. Uh, we, we've got a lot of key players we have to replace and, and, and get back to uh, what I call is we get rid of this afterglow of success, which actually we start talking about way back in January when we start lifting and training and quickness and all that kind of stuff. You can't rest on your laurels. You know I mean? But actually, we walk out in our pads and start realizing, say, hey, this isn't what it felt like at the end of the year. We're back out here in the heat, and it's not looking as good as it did. Well, we've got new players. We've got the guys that are a year older, some are a year younger, you know, things like that. So so it's it's all back to the very beginning, and it's you got to uh, walk before you can run. That's where we are right now. We're just back to the basics, and as we like to say, we're trying to get a little better each day. So you lost a lot of key players. What are you guys doing now with your returning starters? Do you have any uh, impact returning starters? Well, we do. Uh, we, we, we feel like we've got some impact players. Uh, you know, we, we've got Ray Horton and Cole Bentley back on our defensive line. And uh, they, they, they've made, they played very well in the state championship game. And we're expecting some big things out of them this year. Uh, hopefully they'll play big. Uh, and then they've got to lead some others until some of our younger players develop, especially on our defense. Uh, T.J. Dotson's played well for us in the past, and I think you know he's really in great shape this year, and I think he'll be coming along to help us out. So, uh, you know, some of those guys, uh, those two, first two were juniors. T.J.'s a senior, and then uh, we, we just got a number of players that we kind of feel like they need to step up and be able to uh, do the things that we need for them to do. You know, not just to be what I call a good player, but be an outstanding player, take their game up just another step. And then these young players, they're the ones that have to elevate their game as well. Uh, you know, they've got to get past that, uh, what I call complacency period, just kind of being on the team to the, to the point where they're making an impact out there. And we got a lot of guys like that. I think early in the season, you see guys that were sophomores last year or freshmen last year, and they're kind of got, they got to get past that stage of just being on the team or just playing JV games. So, hey, you know, you got a chance to play on Friday night, but you got to, you got to, Take, take that next step. So we're, it's early in the season. That's where we are right now. So let's do a quick preview of your schedule this season. Well, our schedule might be one of the most difficult that we've had at Belfry. I mean, we've got a lot of big schools on it. And, it, and if they're not big schools, they're very good small schools, you know. So, you know, we've got Tate's Creek we're opening up with in the bowl game, the 6A school. We've got Harlan County, you know, big 5A school, I think. They're going to be much improved this year. Newport Catholic's coming in from Northern Kentucky, and then they were in the state finals. Uh, Pikeville, uh, Class A school, but uh, they've got a great tradition. Beat us last year. And then we've got Cabell Midland, um, uh, actually Knoxville Catholics next, and they're supposedly the best team in Knoxville. And we played a Knoxville team last year, and they beat them by about 40 points. So they're, they're going to be really good. And then Cabell Midland, the biggest school in West Virginia, uh, and they won the state championship last year. So that's our first six games before we ever get into uh, district play. And if we can survive that, regardless of our record, uh, I think we're going to be a better football team. And it, it's going to force us to develop depth. And I think that's one thing that we lack right now. I, I do think we've got a pretty good nucleus coming back. Uh, you know, we, we're missing kind of fullbacks, quarterback centers, linebackers. You know, we, we got to develop some people. But at the same time, uh, we, along with those guys, we, we got to develop depth behind them. If you're going to play these large schools, you can't do it with just, you know, 14, 15 guys. You're going to have to have 20, 22 guys because they're going to have so many numbers on you. And that's the thing that we've got to develop. And I think that's going to force us to do that. So some of these younger players are going to get thrown into the fire. And in the long run, by the time the playoffs come along, I think that will help us. Anything else?